I am Judas, the disciple of Jesus, who betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. This was a, the amount I was paid by the high priests and the religious leaders who wanted Jesus dead. Darkness entered my heart, Satan himself, and led me to betray the Son of God. It happened. Everything I did, just like the prophet Zechariah had foretold hundreds of years earlier, Zechariah's words were recorded there in the, in the sacred scriptures for all of us to see. Words about me and what I would do. Zechariah prophesied that God's son would be betrayed for 30 pieces of silver. And so he was. This was the amount I received. The price of a slave. For this price, it was I who sold God out to be arrested, condemned, and killed. It was also Zechariah who prophesied that the money thrown back, it was, and so it was, after I saw Jesus condemned, I was filled with remorse and ran back to those who paid me. And I returned the coins, confessing I have sinned. I betrayed innocent blood. The priest didn't care. Jesus was going to die anyway. They had, they had him exactly where they wanted him. Nothing would stop them now from eliminating Jesus, not even my confession. My words fell on deaf ears. Nobody would listen. I threw the money at them, and, they, and you know what they did with the money? They used it to buy a field. They bought a field from a potter. And the field was used for any religious leader that was coming through Jerusalem at the time. And if he had happened to pass away, they would have a place for a burial. And to this day, it's called the Potter's Field in Jerusalem. But I didn't call it the Potter's Field. I call it the Field of Blood because the money that I used was for Jesus' blood. Zechariah had prophesied the 30 pieces of silver would be thrown down in the house of the Lord and given to the potter. Can you imagine? Everything I have done had been recorded centuries before this. The psalmist foretold the Son of God betrayal would come from a trusted friend. And so it did. The scripture said, even my close friend, whom I trusted, who has shared my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. Well, I am overcome by what I have done to this innocent man they call Jesus. But mostly I am overcome by what Jesus said when I kissed him. Remember that betrayal kiss when I led the guards up to Jesus at the garden? Jesus looked at me and said, Friend, Friend is the word he spoke to me. The one I knew had come and I betrayed him, called me friend. I am overcome by what I have done to this innocent son of God whose life will soon end at the hands of others and mine will now end with my own. 